cat with cat's two cents. I think it's very, very important. It could be a matter of life and death with some of you. It could be a matter of having a wonderful life or a horrible life. A lot of times when you deal with a lot of people, you think everybody's normal. And sometimes we find out, no, everybody's not. I remember years ago when I saw the way I acted and the emotional issues I had, I fit a lot of this. Thank God he healed me from it. But there are many that are suffering from these symptoms, and I want to share it with you. This unnamed emotional state, for the moment, characterized by extreme mood swings. These can range from extreme highs, that's mania, to extreme lows, which is depression. Episodes of mania and depression often last for several weeks or months. Now listen to this. This is a list, and I want you to hear it. Go, go down this list and stand in the mirror or sit <laughs> and see if you can see yourself in any of these. Then you might want to take another look through another set of goggles, so to speak. Depression. During a period of depression, your symptoms may include feeling sad, hopeless, or irritable most of the time. You may lack energy. You may have difficulty concentrating and remembering things. You may have loss of interest in everyday activities. You may have feelings of emptiness or worthlessness, feelings of guilt or despair. You may feel pessimistic. That's being negative about everything. Like everything sucks, so to speak. All right. You may have self-doubt, having disturbed or illogical thinking. You may have a lack of appetite, difficulty sleeping, difficulty waking up early, or you may wake up early. It may be either one. Suicidal thoughts could be in the mix as well. Now, the mania is you are feeling very happy, elated, or overjoyed talking very quickly, talking like real quick, feeling full of energy, feeling self-important, feeling full of great new ideas and having important plans, being easily distracted, being easily irritated or agitated, having hallucinations and disturbed or logical thinking, not feeling like sleeping, not eating, doing things that often have disastrous consequences, such as spending large sums of money on expensive and sometimes unaffordable items, making decisions or saying things that are out of character and that others see as being risky or harmful. Now, in the depressing one and in the mania, there are also times when a person battles highly sexual desires. All right, and you may want to make some calls. There may be some hotlines you can find online where you can actually explore the possibility that you're dealing with something more than just a demonic attack. It could be a chemical imbalance, y'all. All right, something to think about.